Um, hey guys, welcome back to the second tutorial in the uh, learning Java through BlueJay and Java Concepts book. And uh, so far we've downloaded BlueJay and I've introduced you to the Hello World program. And I'm sorry that I rushed through it last time uh, because the reason for that is I want to make it into the YouTube 10 minute time limit. And um, so to do that I had to cut the lesson a little bit short. Let's bring up that Hello World Hello World program again. And here we have it, right? And this uh we can even make the text a little bigger. So here we have the public class hello and I promise to explain what a class is. Uh what a class is kind of a prototype for an object so some examples of classes are a dog uh, I mean an animal, a dog, a horse uh, basically a prototype that defines an object in real life uh, a blueprint kind of of an object so you can say you can have a class called book right you can have a class called tape you can have anything you can physically see and even an idea you can have a class for uh this class has no real life equivalent because well it's it, i guess class hello could be explained as a greeting kind of to another person that that you shake their hand you say hello so this is this i named this class hello that's uh i chose the name arbitrarily but it could represent uh the greeting fro to another person in real life so it's kind of an action it represents an action which is not really the best way to represent classes but we'll we'll deal with it, that for now um so now we want to look at the code uh for the main method which is public static void main string array args well this is a whole bunch of code in one line and so to not scare you off I'll explain it's not that hard and I'll go through the, the words one at a time so you can understand them and then you don't have to uh, care about the static part and uh, well the string array args for now but I'll still explain them and then w I will reinforce them later so you can get what they do uh, void main let's start with void main a main is a method that um, you have in your class and that gets run whenever the program starts uh, so whenever you start a java program the java uh, the java runtime environment the jre looks in your code for a void a uh, main function it's usually a void main function and uh that's declared and then it runs the code inside the void main function so inside these square the the brackets these brackets it runs the code inside them first and then it does anything else um so now we look at the modifiers these are called modifiers they they proceed uh, so they're called uh so public static equal their modifiers so now we know that they're modifiers what do they do well wh what a public thing does it says that anyone can access this method anyone from outside the class any basically any friend any enemy anyone so from you can access it from another source code you can access it from another file you can access it from anywhere else uh, which is uh, which by default is what you want to do in your void main main method because you might want to call main from another another class you want might want to do something um a static means that uh, the the this the the main method lasts for the whole class i know it's hard to comprehend right now um but what static is it means that the destructor for uh, isn't called until uh the end of the program instead of the end of the class um basically a static function is kind of independent of the class it doesn't really depend on the class uh so if you make a new class instance right 
I knew say you have a dog and you have um a static uh a static counter right that counts the number of dogs if you create a new dog that counter won't be reset because the static uh says that no matter how many of these classes call of dogs say that you create uh you're never you only change them by um uh by accessing the dog class directly basically don't worry about it it's uh, we'll we'll go back to it it's uh, the word static and um void main uh we we talked about string array args these are the arguments that you can uh, give to your uh, program that uh we when we run the program here right uh we when we compile it and when we run it here we can give it arguments inside here and we'll talk about those later when we do uh, stuff with arguments for now you don't need uh, any arguments and so it re it types out hello world again and we can clear the terminal window and so this is uh, we talked about this the system dot out dot print line again prints the line in here onto the screen and that's about all you that you need to know about the hello world program so now let's uh, let's quickly learn about a basic data type integers which you'll need to know so an integer is defined by the word int and then you have to give it a name uh, a name that describes it or just a random name so my na my name that I'm gonna give to my integer an integer is a whole number basically right the name that I'm gonna give to my integer is x and um now i can say that x is equal to 5 so i i created this integer x and then i set the value of x to 5 and so now if i use this method that we learned earlier system dot out dot print ln and i just put x and i'm not putting quotes around it because it isn't a string it's a variable the int x is called a variable so int x is called a variable right and then I assigned it the value to 5 so here's a quick question what do you think will be printed to the screen when I type in this command and I put a semicolon after it the semicolon by the way goes after each statement except for function declarations so uh, function and class declarations so any statement inside a function has to have a semicolon I a semicolon after it. These two slashes mean that it's a comment, so it comments out the rest of the line. So this thing will be ignored by the compiler, and it won't cause us any trouble. Um, so again, what will be uh, what will be printed out when I say system that out dot print line x? Well, if we think about it, if x equals five, and I'm trying to print the value of x to the screen, that should print five. So let's check it out. Let's press compile, and it says compiled no syntax error. And now I say void main, pass it no arguments, and look at that. It printed out five. Isn't that great? Great. Okay, so we clear the window, close it, and uh, we'll do one more thing instead of saying int x and then x is equal to 5 we can just combine that into one statement right the declaration and the implementation we can just say int x is equal to 5 so what that says is I want an integer with the name x and I want to assign it the value of 5 that I'm giving it right now and so then you'll have a variable with uh, the value 5 called x and so this should be should work just as well and let's try and let's run the main function no arguments and we get 5 what a surprise so this is it for the second lesson I explained uh, the hello world function and taught you about integers right there any number and we'll go more in depth in, to integers and other data types in the next lesson. So I hope to see you there and have fun.